Hey guys, Gino here from Market Movers. Today's video is my top five favorite stocks in the market today. So this video is for entertainment purposes only. We are not financial advisors. And if you like any of these stocks, own any of these stocks, or have any questions, please leave us a comment in the comment section. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. So guys, the first stock on my list is Tesla. Tesla, which needs very little introduction, is an electric car manufacturing and selling company. And they also manufacture um, uh, solar panels, which they do solar roofs, and they also do um, charging walls and stuff for their cars as well. So the price of a Tesla share is $572, and they've got a market cap of $544 billion. So this, uh, this has been a very volatile stock. It's gone from $157 up to $900 dollars a share in the last 52 weeks uh, it's not that long ago three months ago that it was up around 900 now it's down to 572 i think it's going to relax and i think it's probably going to stay around this price for the next couple of years but in the long term tesla is a great great stock to own the um the company is doing huge things the ceo elon musk uh he could be put down as one of the most intelligent men in the world but he's also a bit of a messer uh, he's in the news recently talking about dogecoin and he's caused a lot of trouble in the bitcoin community and um, look he does his own thing that's kind of the way it is and he's always out there just causing a little bit of a stir but he definitely knows how to run an electric car company and that's one thing that's very important if you're a tesla shareholder and um, some of the cars that they have is the model s the model 3 the model s is kind of the most expensive saloon version the model 3 is more affordable saloon and uh, you'd see a lot of them more of them in ireland a huge amount of them in america as well it's the most commonly uh, sold tesla the model x which is more of an suv it's got the gullwing doors you've probably seen it online and the model y then which is a new car which is just a smaller version of the model x they've got factories uh, they've got factories all over the world so they've got their main factory is in california they've also got one in uh, nevada and one in a uh, gigafactory in new york as well uh, shanghai gigafactory which is where they're doing the model 3 and the model y for china and uh, there has been a few issues over there at the moment which are so hopefully will get resol resolved soon and the berlin gigafactory which isn't up and running yet but is soon uh, hopefully within the next year and this will make a huge difference to the european market and uh, we will start to see teslas a lot cheaper around europe especially hopefully in ireland where we'll start to see more and more of them uh, sell then and also the gigafactory in texas where they plan on doing the tesla semi which is to come out which is uh, like a massive huge truck and uh, it has a cyber truck which is like a pickup truck i'm sure you've all seen and the model 3 the model y so texas the texas one is huge if you look up the photos of it it's a massive facility and uh, so is the berlin one so this will hopefully be mean big things for tesla in the future and i'll definitely be holding this stock for a long long time so my second stock then is planet 13 which is a nevada based uh, cannabis company they have um, they have a superstore in Nevada at the end of the Las Vegas Strip and it is absolutely gigantic it's like Disneyland and they've also just recently built one in Orange County in California which should be opening uh, in June or July so the, the one thing about cannabis in America now is that it's legal in some states but it's not federally legal so you cannot move it across state lines so if they're based in Nevada they cannot sell to California uh, or Arizona but yet yeah, it's legal in all three states so the california base now has opened a whole new market for them they have their own they have their own products as well they're, they have a lot of self-branding and they're and they're fully integrated within themselves so they do all their own growing all their own packaging and all their own selling so this is huge in this company i think are going to be massive in the future they're at a 1.1 billion dollar market cap and i wouldn't be surprised if in a few years when this is on the nasdaq or the nyse this is going to be a 10 billion dollar market cap and i am loading up this is my biggest position uh, planet 13 is my largest position i've been buying it for the last eight months now and i've got it at a really really great price so it's at it's been as high as eight dollars but it's at six dollars at the moment which is still a really really good price in my opinion just to give you a look at the superstore uh, this is what the one in uh, orange county is going to look like and this is what the one in las vegas will look there uh, looks like as well so look i've seen i've seen the one in las vegas in person it's absolutely amazing looking the queue is huge outside it and tr throughout covid they've been started doing deliveries and they had their best day ever of trading on the 20th of april this year so 
only huge things from here. They've got uh, both the uh, both the CEOs have been uh, senators and judges and stuff. So sorry, not senators. They've been uh, governors and judges in uh, in states in America. So they definitely know what they're doing when it comes to business and laws, and they're very careful and they do a really really great job. So that is Planet Thirteen, and we will move on now to stick with the Vegas team to Win Resorts. So Win Resorts. Uh, is at about $128 a share at the moment, up 2.6% today when recording, a market cap of $14 billion. Wynn Resorts is, has locations in Las Vegas, two locations in Las Vegas, one in Boston, and they've got two in Macau over in China. So this is, um, this is literally the high rolling casino in Las Vegas, and in Macau it's one of the superstar hotels and casinos as well the um they have all the high rollers and they have all the celebrities stay there they've in vegas they have a, one of the biggest golf courses they've got a huge mall with all your top end brands louis vuitton gucci prada dior all that kind of stuff in there um they're very famous and vegas this week is back to 100 percent capacity so all every all their casinos and all their strip is all back open and um win resorts will definitely lead the way i was only just looking up earlier on uh not planning a trip to vegas yet but i was just looking up if i was how what kind of hotels how much it would cost to stay in the win and they're booked out until next year so that's great news the only hotel in vegas that's completely booked out at the moment so just to give you a look at the uh, win resorts vegas so you can see here You've got the Wynn Building and the Encore Building, two separate hotels which are actually joined together by a tunnel. In 2019, I was over there and we went in for a look. It is absolutely fantastic. In the Macau, you've got two separate uh, hotels. So you have the Wynn Macau, which you can see here, and the more recently built Wynn Palace, which is absolutely huge. So this is amazing. Uh, the money in Macau is huge. If you don't know much about it, look into it. It's like Vegas but bigger. It's just off the coast of, coast of Hong Kong. So it's a really, really big, really, really big place to have your businesses. And then the Encore in Boston as well. This is uh, just outside the city of Boston over the bridge. If you've ever been to Boston, you'll know the bridge that I'm talking about. And um, it's there and it's got this huge park in the front. And uh, the, it's an absolutely gorgeous hotel. So that is the Wynn Resorts. It's one of my favorite ones. And it's also a big dividend stock usually. At the moment, they are not paying dividends. Um, due to they're not paying dividends just due to COVID they were closed down for a long time but they will get back into the swing of that over the next year or so and I cannot wait so guys that is Win Resorts now Tattooed Chef so Tattooed Chef is a plant based food company Ooh, it's just up 4.3% today which is great it's at $18.79 a $1.5 billion market cap Tattoo Chef I've been buying for a long time now and I really 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 do think they're an amazing company. The CEO is Sam Galetti and he works alongside his daughter Sarah Galetti and uh, she is sh he has 30 years experience in the food industry and she does all the creative design and branding. Um, they, they do have something amazing going on here so they do a lot of frozen food plant based they're in Target. They're in uh, Walmart and they're in Sam's Club and other places like that. They're hoping to move more into the supermarkets this year and then hopefully move out, not out of America, but move on from America into European market as well uh, in the next two years or so. So they recently just acquired a company in New Mexico as well, which focused on a lot of Mexican foods and tortilla chips and stuff like that, which they'll be branching into pretty soon. The factory that they bought is actually already in, um, it's already making the chips. So they're just going to move straight in. It's going to be very, very easy for them. So uh, the 52 week range has been from $10 up to $28. It, they did get a bit excited when it went up to $28 there a few months ago, but uh, it has had a bit of a sell off. It's at a great price. Uh, anything under $20 for this, uh, this stock is really, really good. Uh, I do see this getting very similar to Beyond Meat, if not bigger than the Beyond Meat in the next five or 10 years. So that's Tattooed Chef. And um, they've got a forward PE of 62, which is quite okay for a growth stock. Usually, you know, a, a good safe stock would be under 20. Uh, just to give you some reference, Tesla is probably about 98, 99 at the moment. Um, but these stocks have gotten more, they have gotten a better value recently as they've had big sell offs in the last three months. Just to give you a look at some of the products, so I'm not gonna even try to pronounce this. Uh, that's their organic bowl. That is one of their top sellers. They've got a cauliflower mac and cheese bowl, uh, enchiladas, pizzas, buffalo cauliflower. So they are plant-based um, and they've got absolutely excellent branding. It just looks great. I've, I'm in a few groups, Discord groups based in America where they, um, 
where they send in photos of you know, in their states the frozen food aisles where Tattoo Chef are all nearly sold out and there's some places, some targets in Arizona that actually have two full freezer aisles dedicated to Tattoo Chef which is absolutely massive. So this is a really really big thing uh, for the future of this company. This is very early days in this company and I think I'm just going to keep putting in now. Keep putting my money now while I can, while it's this cheap because I think in three or four years you're going to think how could I not have bought that stock when it was at 18 or 19 dollars. Guys, finally then, Dropbox, which is my last stock out of five. Uh, Dropbox, which I'm sure you're all aware of, is uh, a cloud a cloud storage company. Uh, they've been around since 2007, they've been Dropbox since 2009, and they just recently uh, acquired a company called HelloSign, which is in the e-sign industry, uh, which is obviously with COVID-19, uh, has become a massive a massive thing recently so Dropbox is a very very safe company they've got uh, over 700 million uh, monthly subscribers and uh, across 180 different countries and they just to look at their statistics a little bit there they're 4p of 17 so if you remember earlier I said anything below 20 is really really safe really good this is a 17 um, 17.174p and a 10 billion dollar market cap company uh, I think in three or four years this company will definitely be in the 50s or 60s a share I think people are overlooking it and I think it's definitely a stock that doesn't really get the limelight um, I don't really know why like all their financials are so strong you should take a look at it go onto their Dropbox uh, website take a look at all their financials uh, I'm running out of time now so I won't get into them in this video but I'm sure we'll do another video in a few weeks talking more about Dropbox because we both have quite large positions in it. So guys thank you if you've gotten this far really really appreciate it. Uh, our future videos this was kind of one just going through five stocks we will be going into more detail into stocks in the future so don't worry that is to come. Uh, Sam's video will be out at the end of the week with his five picks so I'm really looking forward to that I'm sure you are too so please hit the subscribe button uh, hit the like button, hit the notification button. We really, really appreciate all the support. Please send it to your friends. Uh, we're going to try to get as many videos going every week as we can. And uh, we'll get more and more into detail. And we'll get better at it too. Uh, this isn't where I'll be usually recording. This is the kitchen. Uh, I'll usually record in my bedroom with the backdrop. But there was construction on today. And the mics were just picking it all up. It was no good. So look guys, I promise videos will get better. Sound will get better. Content. Uh, it depends on the video like we will do more detailed content in other kind of videos and some videos will be about getting as much content in as we can within a few minutes uh, so guys thank you so so much for all the support so far i really appreciate it and we'll talk to you soon